And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel. And another week brings you another AK Blade episode full of new knives and gear. From Buck, Civivi, Max Ace, USP, Best Tech, Joker, Red Horse, Finch, Bastion, and Clorado. It's raining brands today. Hallelujah. And we're going to start off with the new QSP Waddle of Penguins, fresh from the Southern Hemisphere. There it is. Yep. All right. So we got the new shredded carbon fiber liner lock one. Whoop, whoop. Green titanium frame lock mm -hmm. and either black or stone wash. And finally, jewel jade ones. <sighs> with either black or stone wash finished blades. And I have to say, I'm obsessed with all the options. They now have the QSP Penguin. There's tons of color micarta options, D2 blades, S35VM, 154, titanium black stone wash finish, liner lock, frame lock. Not to mention we picked the QSP Penguin as the best budget knife of the year last year. So I didn't think they could top it, but they have. I would agree. You would agree, huh? Yeah, I knew the jade was coming at some point, but you know, the titanium ones, I weren't ready for those. So. Well, you weren't ready for that, were you? And price point as always, so. Uh -huh, exactly. Yep. So I'll give a quick rundown of the specs. Sure. So, um, I'm going to do the titanium one, guys. The blade on this one is 154cm with a stone wash finish, and it's got dual sided thumb studs for opening. Whoop. Operates on cage ceramic ball bearings like all QSP penguins. It cuts well, and it's 7.06 inches overall, 4 inches closed. It's got the titanium box clip along with the handle on this one. Plus side, the liner locks have a reversible clips. So. Flip wow. it around. I know. Wow. And the QSP Penguin starts at only thirty-one fifty from Elaineknife.com. This is where it starts. Yeah. Shameless plugs get from jewel, here on out. You get Jewel J ones for thirty-one fifty. I really like this one, and I like the Jewel J one. You know what? I like them all. I can't. I, agree. I can't pick. All right. Next blade on the table is the Buck Highline. Ooh, I'm excited about this too. I bet you are. Here we go. So this flipper is 7.6 inch overall with a 3.25 inch D2 tool steel cleaver style blade, mm -hmm. which sports, you guessed it, yes. jimping. Stone wash finish and is deployed with a flipper stud. Good Handle jimping. is gray anonized aluminum with black G10 onlay, along with a titanium coated hardware and a bronze finish. Screws, backspacer, pivot cap cover, etc. Yep. This frame lock operates on ball bearings for easy opening, and it comes with a stainless steel stone wash finish, tip up red carry pocket clip. Lastly, this sturdy cleaver has a lanyard hole, weighs just four ounces, and best part, it's only $38.84. Right here. At landknife.com. There it is. Yep, so go ahead. Top notch. I like this one. They're doing better. Really? Yes. Yeah. Price point and. I think it's their best cleaver yet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Trunk yeah. was good, but yep. this one is so much classier. I mean, I love the bronze finish hardware that really stands out against the rest of the knife. Mm -hmm. Look at that back. It's a great back space. Yeah, I didn't really even notice that earlier. It's got that um, cleaver buck cut. Buck bronze. Oh, a buck bronze. Believe it or not, yeah. Wow. Cleaver cut is good for, you know, cutting, slicing, chopping. And I like the different detail they added at the end of the cleaver, mm -hmm. you know? Overall, I think excellent quality from them. Very different, and the design, good for the price. All right. Yeah. Following the Buck Highline, a new knife. From a new knife company, uh -oh, Glow Rhino. There it is. The Reactor. Yeah, so it's available in two options, satin finish and PVD coated. We have the satin finish one here today. All right, so it is 6.9 inch overall with a 2.9 inch S35 BN steel drop point blade, satin or black PVD finishes. This carry also features a XL green tritium insert in each side of the matte titanium handle. There's also a deep carry clip, a dual pry bar and lanyard attachment, kind of go together, yeah. and weighs only 2.3 ounce. Yeah, so the blade is deployed with jimped flipper stud. And this limited release blade is just $199.84. Right here. From Atlantanite.com. Plug company. Yeah. All right, balls in your court first. Go ahead. I like this one too. Um, Their little logo is so cute. <laughs> the tritium thing, you know. Uh, I would say it's a little gimmicky. I get it, you know, you first can find it in the dark. It, you're like, wow, that's neat. Yeah. Second time you see it, you're like, that's pretty good. 
after that, it's just there. I know it's their thing, though, and that's cool. I'm going to have to say I like what the company is trying to do. And they're a pretty new company, but their founder has been working with Tritium for like 30 mm -hmm. years. You know, they're in the firearm defense industries. As of right now, they're working in Detroit, and they've done redos of knives with the Tritium inserts. Like, they did the ZTO350 we reviewed, mm -hmm. and then they also did... The Benchmade bug out, a key bar tool, even Spyderco paramilitary two scales. So wow. this is their first ever knife. And I have to say it's great. I mean, it's the opening is awesome. It is nice, isn't it? It is, is great. It's super sharp. I cut it with it earlier. It looks amazing. I got nothing else to say to you. Yep. Yep. Next you could line. line them up on a shelf and they could glow at you all night. Yeah. That see that see that would be the reason I would get it. Put so them in like have, a little eyes. Yeah. If you had two or four. Or twelve. All right. The twelve. Go ahead. Next up, the Finch Devil's Finger. It's your mother-in-law here. Ooh, good one. Oh wow, thanks. All right. And we ain't really complained about her. Do you know why that is? Because she, we haven't seen she, her. <laughs> she hasn't been here and she doesn't live with you. I love so. you. Just give her some furniture once a week, and you don't have to see her. Is so that this all it folder, takes? that's all it takes. So this folder comes in two options. Canyon Red Micarta and Sequoia Green Micarta. Luckily, we have both. Yeah, so they are 7.2 inches overall with a 3.1 inch 154 CM steel blade with jimping and are opened with the jimped square flipper stud. Mm. Yeah. Finishes vary, so the Canyon Red has a satin stone wash finish while the Sequoia Green has the black wash. Handles are roughly in a micarta and feature Finch's logo. No tritium on these. Finally, this liner lock, designed in Stillwell, Kansas, features a reversible black wired pocket clip. Weighs only 2.9 ounces and is just $129. Right here. Lightknife.com. There it is. I like Finch as a brand a lot. I mean, they always have high quality blades. Mm -hmm. They're a little different from the everyday. They use quality materials, they cut perfectly, and you get free stickers each time. And a band-aid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so about so, the knife. Go ahead, what do you think? I like this one also. I like it a lot, actually. This I might be my pick. top pick this week. This might be my your top pick. Oh my gosh. Huh? Look at that. Stickers. Come on, stickers are awesome. Pretty much everything they do is limited yeah. release and high quality. I mean, it's really not even bad price at 129 bucks, 154 cm. I mean, it's something different too. So you can't beat nice. that. I like the red one. I like the green one. I've never been a, a green and black blade. I'm not really a black blade I person. I like the black blades. I can't help it. They're just nice. nice. Okay, so next carry on the table. We're just mm. moving right along. It is the Joker Ember. Scandy version, I know. That's nice, isn't it? Though it comes in a flat as well. So mm -hmm. options, of course, vary depending on the model. Mm -hmm. We've got the curly birchwood one here That's on the, the show one. today. Yep. And I have to say, I am not disappointed one bit. All See, right. you're specking it up. Short there. thing. Here we go. So this fixed blade is just under nine inches. It has a four inch, fourteen C twenty eight N Sandvik steel blade with satin finish. The blade's width is nice. about one point one at the belly. While the thickness is 0.15, handle is curly birch wood. Yes. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Though you can get the Scandi version in black macarta and walnut, while the flat version is offered in olive, walnut, and black macarta. Yep. So it also comes with a brown leather belt sheet. Mm. So there it is. That's nice. It's got their logo stamped into it, plus leather beta loop. Yeah. And you also get a fire steel. Mm. With matching wood handle, so there it. Oh, it's even got Joker's logo in yeah, it. That's important, that's isn't it? Nice. <laughs> and of course, you get a 78 inches of extra paracord. So. 78 inches. Almost 79, actually, but you know, I rounded down. What's What's the reason behind that? It's the metric system. It's two oh, meters of paracord. Two meters. I yeah. Got, wow. I, I don't know. I guess All in right. case this one breaks. I hey. Don't, yeah. You never know when you need exactly two meters of paracord. It, it, that, you know what? That exact situation has reared its ugly head, and I'm like, I wish I had my two meters of paracord. <laughs> Joker Amber starts at 138.84. Lionknife.com. It's behind us all. Lionknife.com. All right. I just wanted to say it again. Okay, so I'm going to keep it short. All right. I love everything about this knife the sheath, the fire steel, the birch wood handle, the steel, the blade. 
It's gorgeous. It cuts, and it's worth the money. Yeah. I'd say the same thing. I like to take it out and try it. <clears throat> no. I like that cork look. It's a it, lightweight. Oh, goodness. Yep. I'm All right. To take, it's gorgeous. Take it. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. We teased you with this last week, so here it is. It is the Savivi Tamashi. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Along with ring a ding ding in that bell. Ring a ding ding in that yep. bell. Mm hmm. So, you A Carries can stay in touch with AK and any content we drop. Also, get entered in giveaways. Which is the most important it, reason. Yeah, you need to have motivation. We yeah. got you. It's fine. So, on YouTube right now. Ah, fail. Okay. There it is. We got the QS Peak in it. Yep. So, on AK's blog, if you answer the AK trivia question, we ended up winning the best tech finger. Ah, you didn't do what our customers do. <laughs> What? Last oh, week for these days. Oh. oh, you hit the screen about profanities. Uh, we give you a little extra time, so don't forget. There's always time to scream out a little profanities, don't you think? Okay. It's not here. So, the Savivi Tamashi. Are you trying to censor me right now? <laughs> I don't think you got to worry about okay. me doing that. Oh, okay, so the Savivi Tamashi, latest fixed blade from Savivi. It is 8.8 .8 inches overall. Yep. With a 4.07 satin finish. D2 steel trailing point blade with flat grind jimping. Handle is G10 and comes in both black and green. Luckily, you guys can see both. Yep. They come with a lanyard hole, a lanyard, a black Kydex sheath. Hold on. There's the sheath. Oh, nice. Snap click. it like you mean it. it. Is. It's a great snap. We're designed by Bob Terrasula and are only $66.50 at landknife.com. All right, I'm in a giving mood today, so you can go first. Oh, I can go first? Yeah. Well, last week I was really excited about these fixed blades. And, and then came the rest Joker. Is, no. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's nice. I like it. I like also, it doesn't have that area for your thumb, but... It's got jimping there. Oh, I was talking about it's got comes jimping. Comes off nicely. So you can hold it. I like how off. the uh, clip on the back is not just a belt clip. You yeah. can move it around as you need it. I like it. That's important. And I like Terrasola's name on it. It, Do looks, you? it looks cool. Yeah, if you're going to put your name on it. I wonder it, if you unravel this exactly cool. how many inches of paracord this is. I don't know. Could be I, 78. I, I don't think it's 78. You don't think it is? No, because I think I know how it is. But I'm not telling. I'm okay. Keep that as a secret. Well, All then right. don't tell. I think it's very similar to their Kepler they did, just not as big and bulky. Mm -hmm. They're very keeping the Savivi look very well. It's very good. Consistency is key. Good knife, and they're getting better with price and relation to materials. So overall, A for me. Okay, next blade. Ready? Yep. They're all right here. Let me hand to you. Sure. One at a time. One at a time. It is the best tech operator. Currently available in three different colored options. Yep. The typical orange, OD green, and black. Five different options total. Oh, they're nice. This lanyard lock is eight inches overall with a modified Warncliffe three and a half inch D2 steel blade. Which has jimping. Comes in black wash or the two-tone style. It's deployed with either the jimped flipper stud. Yep. The thumb opening. Hold on, I did it earlier. There we go. Handle is G10 and features black hardware, lanyard hole, backspacer, which on the black one is red instead of black, and a tip-up pocket clip. And this operator can handle any business you have for just $65 at lightingknife.com. So, tell us about the operator. I think it matches Best Tech's new type of style they're going for, bulky, heavy. It's like a mashup of like the Lizard, the Toucan, and as I was looking at it, a little bit of like the Kaiser Maestro, if you look at it. Mm, a little Maestro there, little, isn't it? There's a little Maestro in there. I would have liked to see something in blue, since these color options are a little typical. They kind of do orange, green, These black. are their color options. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, but they do have different finish op options, so that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think it's good for the price. Definitely says Best Tech, which was one of my favorite brands, mm -hmm. by the way. So, obviously, I like it. Well, it won't help you place a call. But, I like it too again. I mean, everything's so different this week. 
This is a nice, it's heavier. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like the design on the scales here and the handle. Definitely bludgeon somebody with this. Definitely bludgeon somebody. Wow, we are. Yep. <laughs> Bring it back the old time. Deep carry pocket clip again. I like that. I mean, it's a nice knife. 60 bucks. So, yeah. what else can you really say? Except I know you're ready. Yeah, I'm jazzed All right, here about we go. the next knife. No, I wanted to pick it up. Gosh. You wanted to pick it next up. Next knife on the table is the Max Ace Red Queen Three. Yeah. All right. I know. Thing of beauty. Are you ready? Yep. All right. I was born ready. 9.25 inch overall with a four inch satin finish. Bowler M390 stainless blade. Handle is gray titanium with a marbled carbon fiber inlay. Nice. Blade is open with dual sided thumb studs. Hold on. There we go. Wow. You. Eh. Yeah. Jet I know. flipper stud. Or the Emerson Lightweight feature. I'm not demonstrating that one. Sorry. You can't. You have to stand up. I know. And then you have to. Pull it out of your pocket. I don't have any pockets oh. on these pants anyway. Yep. By the way. Just say it to touch on the Emerson Wave feature. The Spartan Blade Shoto, which is back in stock, .com, uh, does have permission to use the Wave feature. I just want to give you a little nice That's from update. a couple episodes ago. Yeah, a few episodes. I just want to give you an update because I think we hinted that it might not be we out know. forever. We weren't sure. And then someone's like, Spartan Blades. We asked Ernie. Yeah, he, he tested it out for us. Oh, all right, great. So, so we won't be fair. Yeah. Finally, this frame lock also features a titanium pocket clip, a black nylon zippered pouch. I hope I knock that over. Mm -hmm. There it is. A cleaning cloth. You which, hope you knock it over. Yep. All right. And, hold on. Got my sign up it already. It is only. Here, we'll show you the other side. 240, no. 248.84. All right. Lionite.com. Yeah. We can all say it. We can. Double. Make it into a... a little you know ring tell us what you think about it i think max ace is really trying to bring function and quality to the fantasy knife section okay because mm -hmm. you would imagine a design being done like this like by dark side or tack force but they fail they never bring quality it just never looks good but reich's managed to do this you know the whole fantasy knife thing with the 1902 and the alien they mm -hmm. look great and i think max ace is really trying to rival them this is a gorgeous knife. It's made of high-end stuff. Cuts well. Who could ever ask for more? So what you're saying is, if this wasn't high quality, it'd be mall ninja stuff. Yeah, but it's high quality. And <laughs> it and they did it well. Usually you can't just slap on some, some bronze coloring and some marble and column fiber and ask and call $300 it dollars yeah. and say it's gorgeous. Because it wouldn't be. But they did it well. Okay. I agree. All right. That's all you got is I agree. Yeah, I was going to say concur. basically the same thing that you just concurred. concurred. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I when know. I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. To you now. Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. i got to move on. So that ends the Red Queen's reign. Mm -hmm. We have the Bastion Bolt Action Pen. Yeah, because everyone writes. All right, I guess C can do specs. Oh, well, you want to do specs? Yeah, I guess. All right, let me look at that sucker. Okay. 5.25 inch overall. Okay. It's silver. Yeah. It's 6061 T6 grade aluminum. Mm -hmm. It's a bolt action operation and a stylish writing utensil. Ah! Uses a Parker style ink cartridge. Nice. Pocket clip for on the go carry. And, and it's just $24.99 from lightknife.com. There it is. So it also comes in a variety of finishes yep. and materials. So they got copper, they got brass, they got titanium, along with like a red, blue, and black aluminum choice. So. Yeah. This is nice. See? What do you got to say? It writes. All right. There you, there you have it. I bet you it hurts, too. It's nice. <laughs> if I had to have a pen. That would be the one. That would be the one. Or a space pen. Yep. I like that pen. It's nice. Yep. Right. So. All right. Give it All right. Last knife. Last knife. Yeah. Where I know. At? Everyone ready? Now, we did try to incorporate new things this oh. episode. So, we have another fresh brand. It's Red Horse Knife Works. Mm -hmm. So, the maker of their knives and cigar cutters, because those go hand in hand, has a 15-year background in various martial arts, you know, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Mai Tai, I mean, began making knives part-time after his career in security contracting ended. After oodles of positive feedback, from military and law enforcement, the company decided to make Red Horse Knife Works more available to the general public. 
So here it is. Well, it sounds like they wrote that. Yeah. All right, so today we're featuring the they Red Horse it. Hellraiser. Yep. Available in a few different versions. So, twin carbon fiber, black G10 and green G10. It is eight and a half inch overall with a three and a half inch S35 VN black finish blade with yes. jimpin. Decorative cutouts. If okay. it ain't got jimpin, there's no jimpin point. Nine. It is. It's open with dual sided thumb studs. Look at there. That's nice. Handle is OD green G10 and features a decorative pivot cap accent, silver colored barrel spacers, and a gunmetal finish tip up pocket clip. All this could be yours. Which mirrors the design of the blade. <laughs> oh, this could be yours. And they started just 235 at AtlanticKnife.com. A little slow on the draw all that time, yep. but I got there. It's okay. See, last blade, last thoughts. Go on. Well, I mean, look. It's a nice knife. They took a custom knife they'd done for years and turned it into a production knife. What else can you say? I mean, it's nice. I think for a beginning blade, it's really, really, really nice. I, I like that curve Snazzy. to the handle. Similar to like a, an artisan orthodox in mm. shape and design. Except better, I think. I think it's got the, mm -hmm. the hard edge to it because of the gunmetal pocket clip and the rivet like kind of cutouts they were going for. And the, the, the swoop. Yes. S35 VN Steel is excellent high-end choice. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think if all their knives reach this level, I would say we have another great knife brand on our hands. Yep. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and so see. So we'll do our favorites right after we ask you to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Along with ringing that bell. So you're always notified when AK drops new content. And so you can be entered to win the QSP, third time's charm, <gasps> Gannett on YouTube. Also, if you head on over to AK's blog and answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered to win the best tech fanga. Just use the guy's answer ahead. Or the ladies. Yep. Last week to enter. Get busy entering. So you can get busy knifing. There it is. Okay. So, favorite knife on the table this week, see, go. <sighs> I'm not going to be all hesitant this week. You're just going to. I got two. I'm going to go the Red Finch Devil's oh, yeah. Finger. Uh, yeah, my mother-in-law's finger. Wow. And I like this one a lot. Well, like every week, mine's a toss-up. I like the newest QSP Penguins, the Carbon Fiber, the Jewel Jade. I mm -hmm. like them all. I also like the Max Ace Red Queen. Yeah, I like that one too. Though the Joker, yes, was really, really nice. Take my mind. Mine's the pin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go yeah. ahead. That's funny. And it has all like the extras, the fire steel and everything. First I'll just, I'll just, fire steel. It's a fire steel. Oh, okay. Specifically says fire steel. That's why all I right. said it. It's hey. going to go, it's going to go what with this I one. Know? All right. That's our show this week. Make sure to hit us up on those social media outlets like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV. Wait a minute. What happened to... That's Instagram. Instagram. Because I was going to say... Oh, you were. So you couldn't. And Rumble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know we're what? I'm going to fix you. Always posting knife pictures, <laughs> knife reviews, <laughs> gear videos, and more. So be a soch. Check us out. Like always. I'm C. And this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are... Signing off. <laughs>